So the youth and children that we work with come from a lot of different backgrounds and places, but these are all kids that universally are under-resourced and are dealing with usually pretty extensive trauma histories. So these are young folks where um, they often are dealing with a lot of instability when it comes to their families. They've been bounced around the foster care system like ping pong balls, placement after placement after placement. Uh, they've seen people die. They've seen people get sick. They've seen people suffer and struggle. And so you have a lot of very adult, very big issues that very little people are trying to work their way through. Um, things that, you know, as, as a 35-year-old male, I'd, I'd struggle with, any of us would struggle with. I, my background is, is I came from Kansas. I'm, I'm a farm kid uh, and I'm, I'm right outside of Manhattan, Kansas. So I grew up on a sheep farm. And when you grow up on a sheep farm, uh, you're very engaged with nature. Uh, there's always chores to do. You're always working with plants and animals. You're always running around in the woods. And there's a sense of of calmness and connectivity that, that, that comes from that, uh, that when I came to the city and I started working with these kids, it just, it just struck me how much that was lacking, how disconnected they were from nature, how disconnected they were from each other, from, uh, you know, and, and then you start getting into studies and you start getting into, you know, this, this beautiful body of, of, of knowledge that talks about um, the health impacts and the mental impacts of when we are separated from nature and how strong and beneficial and beautiful it is for us and every part of our system when we're able to get our hands in the dirt and connect with plants and animals. Um, and so, and, you know, and here we see it. You, you get a young person out here because um, everything's theory till you try it, right? So I'm like, man, wouldn't it be nice if we had a secret little garden out here where I could take these these often, you know, wild, discombobulated, struggling kiddos, and we could bring them out here and just give them a space to calm down. But you don't know till you do it. And what we found is uh, it, it was like working with a different kid often. In our give and grow orchard, we have apples, cherries, um, Asian pears, jujubes, peaches. Um, the kids get to pick those, take them home. Um, some of the kids have never eaten actually cherries with pits in them. So um, that's so amazing to me. So we let them do um, eat the cherries, and then we have a contest with the pits that we, you know, get to spit. Who gets to spit it the farthest? So it's just fun for them, um, and it's it is a venture. It's like, wow, things that they've never done. I've never picked an apple off a tree and like rubbed it on my shirt and just taken a bite out of it. So I don't know. It's it's a great experience for it's a great experience for me and for the kids actually so so one thing about spaces like this uh, as far as the tools that they provide that you cannot find in a clinical space is you know is, is that that kind of that tie-in that connection that space of quiet I think there's something really powerful too about just getting a kid out of their the zones that they're sort of trapped in all day every day right you have these kiddos that are moved from air-conditioned box to air-conditioned box and only walk on the sidewalk and then you have playgrounds and that's where you play you play at a playground it's the it's the play box right and so spaces like this uh there is a sense of wildness there is a sense of, of direct engagement um and for our therapy team um quite a few of them have really embraced that so to take kids out of their offices and out of these traditional therapy spaces that the kids have become very used to that's the room I go into and I sit in this chair and I have to talk about the bad things that happened or all the icky feelings I'm having and and I know when I go into the room that's what's going to happen and instead you go you know what we're going to go out to the garden we're going to run around we're going to pick apples we're going to eat a peach we're going to talk about making cherry pies and then as you're doing that activity with that youth as you're taking them out of that traditional therapeutic space that at this point they associate with that oh this is going to be heavy right uh, they start opening up naturally and you start having these conversations without that tension, without that weight. 